Hi everyone, Patrick Gargano here from the Learning and Certifications team again. Yeah, and Hank Preston also from the Learning and Certifications team. And we're back for another look at the domains that make up the CCNA exam topics list. Your entry to a, a career in network infrastructure, data center, cloud, artificial intelligence. The CCNA is a great starting point. And this domain is a pretty critical one. Very much. Yes. Domain five, yeah, yeah. it's all about security. Again, before we d jump into it, you're looking at the percentage that, that you'll get in terms of questions in the exam. This one is a little bit more than domain four, which was 10%. This one is 15%. Again, quite a lot of tasks here, some configuration ones in particular. Um, any, which, anyone that jumps out at you? Oh man, I, there's, there's so many important aspects to security that are in there, but if I had to pick one, I think a key area to dive into are related to how you actually secure access to the network device itself. And so you're gonna, we're gonna focus in on topics like password policies, making sure passwords are complex, they expire successfully. Uh, learn about how we can actually centralize device access using AAA services, where we learn about how to use TACX services yeah. and, and be able to know who's connecting to our network. What are they allowed to do? These are really critical, especially as you're starting out as a network engineer. One thing you'll learn is the practices, the behaviors, the habits you get into when you first get started as a network engineer, well, they will stick with you for your entire career. So I love the fact that we dive into some of these really fundamental topics down here at the CCNA level. What about you? What's your favorite? Hank is too humble, so uh, he won't mention it, so I'll mention it. He recently posted a really interesting <laughs> blog post on AAA. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, and I think he's going to have a follow-up as well on that one later on, have a, have a look at, at that for sure. Listen, when I'm looking at the list of, of topics in this domain, um, the one that jumps out to me anyways is, is all that layer two security. In other words, uh, port security. So the, the way that we can secure your switches from devices being plugged into the network that shouldn't be plugged into the network. So we're locking it down based, let's say, on MAC address um, and making sure that only those devices are allowed access to the network. So that's like at layer two. So it's way before AAA, oh, yeah, yeah. but it's a fundamental one. Yeah, because the important thing to recognize with uh, being a network engineer is we want to provide access to the people and the services and the hosts and the devices that are supposed to be on the network. But there are a lot of bad actors out there. And here in Domain 5, we start to think about and learn about these key topics that you will explore no matter where you are in the network journey. So what is a vulnerability? What is an exploit? These are a, another area where terminology is really important. So in 5.1 here, our task, you're gonna focus in and know these differences of key security topics, um, how to define and understand, is this, a, is this a worm? Is this a virus, right? Is this a piece of code that somebody wrote to exploit some vulnerability that's out there? And what's that difference between exploitation and a vulnerability, right? key concepts and you will definitely see questions on the CCNA having you kind of identify what is uh, what is the vulnerability, what is the exploit. So spend some time, understand the difference in those key concepts and terms. And what you're probably going to notice as well is that although this domain is called security and you're, you're going to expect obviously topics around security, security is kind of sprinkled throughout the entire exam, right? The entire blueprint. There's a little bit of security in domain one and two and three and four. And so, yes, we focus on, on security here, especially configuring things like device access and DHCP snooping perhaps as well. And uh, well, I have to mention the, the one probably that folks have the most, find most challenging sure. would be the 5.6 access control lists. Oh yeah. It's not that it's complicated. It's just a bit of math mm -hmm. sometimes. And, and you're introduced to something called wildcard masks as well. So that one is one that kind of, again, trickles through a bunch of different things. It's in, involved in NAT and, and other services as well. Yeah, access control list really is a critical topic to spend time on learning how to configure them and do them right. Yeah. Because they're used, as Patrick mentioned, for a few different things. They'll be applied to an interface to limit who's allowed in and out of that interface. As you progress in your journey, you'll find access control lists are also used for things like matching traffic and routing protocols, yeah. understanding what paths to send in different directions, or even identify traffic that maybe later on you wanna use with quality of service. And so a lot of these topics, and we've mentioned it a few times, that we start about here at the CCNA, you will find show up in other, as you progress into specialist, professional, and even expert level certifications. Um, domain five security is a critical one to spend your time on. 15% of the exam, definitely focus on it. And I think the last little thing we could mention mm. as well, again, you see a bit of wireless here. And mm. again, as security is sprinkled throughout the CCNA, wireless is also sprinkled throughout the CCNA. We talked about it in domain one and in domain two, and it's back again in domain five because obviously you need to secure that wireless connectivity as well. And so that's what it's focusing here. WPA, WPA2, WPA3, um, stuff you're using at home, right? On your home network and that you'd be using in a corporate environment as well. So 
All right, well, that's all about domain five here for the CCNA exam topics blueprint. Uh, we'll be back to talk about the other domains that make up this critical certification in your journey to be a network engineer. Talk to you soon. See ya.